Welcome back to Michael's Kitchen. Tonight we got Naranja Agria rotisserie chicken. If you're like me and you go to Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, Publix, K. Roger, Kroger, you walk around the deli portion and they always have a rotisserie chicken there. They always have a machine there with six million chickens and it smells delicious. And you say, man, I'm gonna get me one of those. And you get it, take it home, the car smells great, and you take it home and it, wah, 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 it just bland chicken. Nothing's worse than bland chicken. Um, so today we're gonna do, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna remedy that situation. And what we have is a chicken that we've been marinated. I'll show you what it looks like now. And how we got here, quick recap of how we got here, is here. Need some naranja agria, some mojo, some adobo, oregano, Montreal chicken, and tropical seasoning, and of course, the garlic. But the star of this show is the smallest chicken you can find. <laughs> First we'll add in about a half a cup of naranja agria. Add in half a cup of mojo. Add in a tablespoon of adobo. Add in a tablespoon of Montreal chicken. A tablespoon of tropical seasoning. Add in a tablespoon of oregano crushed in, add in about four or five crushed cloves of garlic. Add in one packet of culantro chote seasoning, which I forgot to show on here. And mix in all your ingredients. And we're gonna add in our chicken to soak in that marinade. Keep on tossing and turning for about every hour. Overnight, we're gonna leave it in there overnight, but tossing and turning. So now you see how we got our chicken. I've been tossing it. Every time I remembered, I toss it. So maybe every four hours I toss it, but the goal is to be in there for at least overnight and tossing it every four hours. I've got my spigot ready for my air fryer. Today we're gonna to be using a caloric air fryer rotisserie. You can do this in the rotisserie in the grill, but we're gonna use an air fryer and I'm gonna get this situated on my spit. Rotating, cooking, smelling the house all good. And you guys will come along for the journey. The hardest thing of this equation is getting this centered on this spigot so that it doesn't flop around while it's rotating in the air fryer. So I got my base situated. I'm gonna get my chicken out of the marinade. Look at that orange color that the Galantro gave. Tropical seasoning, the red adobo. Look at that. Onto my plate here, and we'll get this in the spit. So I'll get this situated by getting the, the probe in and securing it centered, and then standing up. And again, the goal is to get them as centered as I possibly can using the attachments, and then tying them on with some butcher's twine, which you guys will see here in a second. Always helps if it's loose. <laughs> and then I'll tighten this down. And then we'll time in place. So I got my butcher twine. I've taken out three strands to tap to wrap them around. And if you remember, we'll put a link here for our uh, porchetta video, which I use my butcher's twine. It's the same concept here. So I'm gonna get this around. I'm gonna, the, the three areas of need is his waist, I want him to be skinnier. His legs, I don't want his legs flopping around. And his wings, I don't want his wings flying around. I want him to stay in, stay in place. So I'll get this first around his thigh area. And notice I'm doing this on his back because I want his breast to stay pretty. So the trick here, I don't know if you can see it, can you see? Mm -hmm. the trick is to wrap around 
two or three times and then pull tight and it'll self lock itself. And then one more time. And now it's locked in place. I'll do it again for his wing area. Well, her wing area. I'm saying him, but it's her wing area. <laughs> so again, three wraps. One, two, three. Tight. And then not. So he's good there, but I also want to get his feet from flopping around. And this next one, I'll just do this. Actually, I'll do this around his feet one time around his other foot one time. Then wrap together again. One, two, three. And then one more knot and we're good. Now cut off all the excess because you don't want this flopping around in the, the air fryer. Obviously if you're doing this in the grill, you want to tie it around as well. Just cut all these extra twines. And to the air fryer we go. So you guys gotta come to this side of the kitchen for some action. <laughs> I'll let you get another side because this is the danger zone. So we're situated over here. We're gonna get him mounted inside. And ours is one way orientation. So depending on which one you have, I'm a big fan of this. You guys saw, we did a video where we told you we lost our uh, air fryer and we ended up getting a uh, Instapot, so this is the air fryer we're going with. So I'll get this situated in here. And then, like that Foreman Grill says, set it and forget it. We'll do chicken and click start. We're going 40 minutes, 435 degrees. And that's why it's important to tie it up so it doesn't so it doesn't flop off, flop around and fall off. So we'll be back in 40 minutes. Our our time is up. Chicken's done, and I'm gonna just get it on out of here. Oops! As it turns around. Oops! Sorry, sorry about the mess, guys. But we really are cooking here. I told you guys walking into Kroger, Walmart, Sam's and smelling that chicken, that's exact. Is that what it smells like in here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the chihuahuas are going crazy. First things first, you're gonna loosen the mechanism that I tightened down to hold it in place. So I can pop this off. It is a little warm, just a little warm. I have another glove here. Anyways, you know what, let's get the glove here <laughs> to avoid any drama. And then take this out And then, while it's still a little warm, I'm gonna go ahead and cut all the butcher's twine. So when it's ready to carve, that'll just slide right off. And yeah, we'll give it a few minutes to cool off because it is scalding hot. We'll give it a few minutes to cool, uh, cool off and then we'll just carve up and enjoy supper. This is a cooking channel, not a carving channel. <laughs> So I'm not a professional carver by any stretch of the imagination. This is just how I do it. So I get the sharpest knife in the house and I take off the drummy with the thigh. And if you guys can t can't tell, it's still a little warm. Ooh, I don't wanna lose the wing. Well, I'll do that next. There's one leg. Maybe she'll edit this to make me look good. <laughs> There's the other leg. All this to keep, keep the integrity of the skin good. There's one breast. I'll get rid of this carcass because we don't like looking at it. And there's your other carcass. And I'll get rid of this because we don't need that for the picture. <laughs> and there's your two breast drumstick. 
I can obviously get rid of the thigh if I wanted to and just do, we call it molito in Spanish. That's all Triple M is waiting for, is that molito. There you go. Rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna taste a little piece, is that okay? Mm -hmm. I like the breast. Juicy. I don't know if you can get that in the camera, but it is beyond juicy. Can you see the juice there? I can see shining. Juice explosion, Naranga Agria. I failed to tell you guys the story about Naranga Agria. We went to Santo Domingo to Dad's house. We'll put a link here for the video, our last trip to travel vlog. And we went to dad's house and he made some pork chops with naranja agria from fresh, it was just fire. So ever since then we've been having naranja agria on all our food or chicken, poultry, pork. Just comes out delicious. I'm still savoring it here, it's just delicious. Guys, <laughs> you wanna taste the piece? <laughs> Guys, if you like the video, like the video. Comment down below if there's anything you wanna try or make. Subscribe for more. That said, she's rushing me, so what you can eat. This was a quick video. That said, I'm I went, went careful. See you guys.